Hello and welcome back to the Harbour by Night for the second episode, the level 2 episode of Purple Rain. Our uh, storm singer bard life, staring up at the starry sky and these uh, favourite uh, strings of lights that I like so much in the uh, harbour area. I've uh, got a couple of things written down to share here. So yes, I didn't mention in the last one about these um, these shadow blades that you get out of the um, Fade Arc tree. They're particularly good, obviously, for charisma-based um, builds because, uh, so like, uh, let's say... Favoured Soul, if you're going Charisma based, they have a choice between Charisma and Wisdom. Warlock, Sorcerer, or in our case the Bard, because the, they are using Charisma for hit and damage. And um, it gives you a nice source of early damage as a, a beginning caster when generally you don't have. So that's, that's why we, uh, we invested into here this time. If you're not charisma based, you have the option of taking the spell um, Master's Touch, which the bard does get. And oh, you can—I think you can scroll Master's Touch, can't you, as well? And just swing a, a two-handed weapon for a few levels, and that would do it. And or take the um, uh, warrior hireling that that warforged one tends to be popular doesn't it the level two warforged with the enormous big uh, sword that would do uh, an equally good job i think too um we had fun in the kenneth crystal as always <laughs> going in there with these cookies i did a blade barrier and when that ran out i tested the uh shard storm and that was one shotting everything too because that's a caster level 15 and again you could achieve totally the same effect by uh, adding the warrior hiling that i've just mentioned but uh, this was one like a revenge i guess for all the times i've gone in there and tried to hold back the swarms on my own and failed and they've bust the crystal and i've thought Ugh. So that was that was one uh, one for all those times, hugely satisfying. Um, the the storm singer, if I didn't mention already, I think I did. You get um, electrical spells as you level. That you can take. You still have to select them on level ups, but um, you c you can take those alongside your uh, regular ones the level one spell is a touch range the shocking grasp which i'm i'm not a huge fan of to be honest so i haven't taken that yet instead at level two i took the cure light wounds just as a bit of a top up in between times to make a bit more use of our spell point pool um we have rejigged the gear for level two a lot of this stuff, if you've seen any of my previous lives, you'll be more than familiar with. It's it's all the same, just basic level 2 stuff. Just a bit more um, on the spell damage there, which is useless to us at the present time. Uh, that's a very nice item for this build, Charisma and Con. The Runic Trinket, 1 DC on spells, which will help the... Um, colour spray to land so with with having one more between having one more charisma and one spell dc we've we've gone up two on the colour spray from 18 to 20 so that's not terrible feather fall on the cloak and a bit of dodge now dodge could definitely be a thing because we'll be in light armor at the most in this build and i noticed that we do get some dodge in the storm singer tree too so that's nice and of course we can take some in the uh, reaper tree once that becomes available uh, belt i haven't really got a belt i'm just using whatever uh, clickable belts uh, i used last radiance law there is redundant it's just for the sheltering prr and mrr the gloves are the same as we had at level one 
Well, that's actually a nice, a nice glove, isn't it? Dodge and the Mythic and Reaper boosts. The boots again, same thing. I don't really have any boots that I'm wearing, just uh, the ones that I'm clicking for more speed. That's a nice item for level two, fortification and resistance bonus to saves. So our saves, you can see, have gone up uh, from sort of tens and twelves to somewhere half decent. I guess that's adding the Paladin Dilettante bonus we've got in there. So they're actually pretty good for level two. Not complaining there at all. Goggles, I've switched to the true seeing ones with the persuasion for UMD boost and also the master's gift for a little bit more XP. And I added in, because we're using a one handed shadow blade, I added in this little orb, Nick Dorb. Potency bonus to spell power. And the spell for actually it's kind of duplicating what's on the runic trinket, isn't it? More or less. But um, I'll leave it there. It's just a nice thing to to have, and we might want to swap. Uh, actually, when we start doing casting, I envisage starting with the casting around level three when we can get the shout uh, spell like ability. That's going to start wrecking groups. So from that moment on, I'm going to want some caster sticks in here. Or maybe I'll put the orb and the single caster stick. We'll, we'll see. But it's not going to be too long, thankfully, before we can get rid of this uh, shadow blade business. Because, as you know, I'm not a fan of uh, messing about with swords when you're supposed to be casting. Um, gear we've done. Enhancements, I for the moment... I just added a couple of points in Harper. They've redone this tree recently, so the first core gives one hit and damage and a bit extra against evil. And then we've got this as well, another one hit and damage for our weapon. So that's uh, not too bad. As soon as we start doing the casting, I will come out of there and go into the stormy tree i guess yeah i think so oh would we go would we go in there for some of the low hanging stuff the one dc there's there are spell dcs in the spell singer cause as well aren't there as well as um sonic crit chance i think it's actually more crit chance than it mentions it says two percent but some of them give I think one of them in particular gives seven on Sonic and positive, so that's a valuable one to have. Anyway, that's not for straight away. I think that's everything waffle-wise. I was trying to think back to which quests we've regularly done at this early level. I think we've done quite a bit of Butcher's Path and Cobalt Ringleader, haven't we? So I thought we'd go into the Garrison's Pack this time around. This is the first one we will have done on Reaper. Now, what's the strategy for a Reaper? We could hit the uh, Shard Storm, couldn't we? Also, we've got um, Nightmare Lance we can use. And we can try to colour spray it just for a bit of uh, respite. We're going to be faced by groups as well, so slow and steady too. And if it gets too overwhelming, we'll we'll go with the the shard storm. This time I will hit the blur cookie. Between the shield and the uh, mage armor, we can get up to. I know it's not <laughs> it's not amazing, but it's still a half decent mischance at level, so that's not terrible on the armor class side. Okay, I think that's us ready. As you enter the sewer, Garrison calls from above. Be careful down there. Ah, can we one shot you by any chance? Yes, beautiful. No sentries here. Okay, now 
does that mean there are people coming from out of here? I know there are a couple of roguey types wandering around in here that we won't see until they start hitting us, will we? There we go. As mentioned before, it's totally not worth it, in my opinion, to do, unless you have a, a decent group or an overpowered character, to do Reaper from such an early level. Just stick with Elite for a much easier ride. There's, well, 213 Reaper XP compared to the 1,000 plus you can get uh, each quest at the cap. It's uh, it's just not worth not worth it in my estimations anyway unless you're with a strong group or you're uh, you have a character you're very confident in not today mr sentry oh now then Thankfully our Shadow Blade doesn't take any ooze damage or anything like that. Can we just heal up? A soft sound, like kind of a snoring animal, echoes along the tunnel. Now there's a shrine in oh that's our first our first uh, challenge here. So I think as he's with other people, I've used my last of my uh, night thing. Um, what can we do? I could do the shard storm. I think I will. I want to draw him out away from everything else. So let's just demonstrate this. There's a trap on here as well. We did manage to blind the bugger. I'm not happy about being in the line of fire for all this stuff. Let's try the old blade barrier. They're made of tough stuff, this lot, aren't they? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so our save wasn't uh, strong enough. Let's try not to get uh, cut apart in this trap. Ooh. Yes, that's more like it. Now, he's definitely going to need blinding, isn't he? Oh, come on, not so many misses. I think the blind really helped us there, didn't it? We took so long to kill him that he actually came back from it. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Yes. Okay. So again, that's another reason not to do the Reaper so early on, unless you've got a, a strong character, maybe with loads of racial points or something. The time taken, we could have done several elite quests in the time it's taken me to mess about with this. Just doing it for the purposes of the, uh, the challenge, for the recorded ones. See, we're, we're struggling. You were blind. How did you go to the thing when you were blind? Okay, let's give it the old blade barrier. I know what you're thinking. M mentions the purposes of the challenge and then throws an overpowered blade barrier down into the quest. 
Oh, crikey, that really took a chunk out, didn't it? Who did that? Can we take proper healing now? Yeah, okay. Shaman, please let's just blind the bugger. That's the shard storm coming. Okay, a little bit of cookie help doesn't hurt. Come on then. Now we're going to use Wagon's strategy and back into a bit of a corner here so they can't surround us. And then realise <laughs> that they're all ranged anyway, so they're not going to. So we are succeeding quite often with the blinding. It's not been terrible, has it? And outside of combat, the cure light isn't doing too badly. We have... Uh, oh, because of the potency orb, we have spell power everywhere, don't we? So we have, uh, we have 71 positive, not terrible. In fact, pretty good, I guess, at this level. Signal crystals are placed above a metal gate. You leave the festering sewer water only to be assailed oh. by a pungent new scent. Now, I don't particularly want to commit to going into all that stuff. Can you come to me? That would be nice. Sit in the corner, just like we've been told to. Now, the idea of sitting in the corner is they can't get uh, around the side of you and flank you, as was happening all the time with our poor little monk in the last life. I think we'll say uh, the dungeon was uh, cheated in that one because I am almost certain that without leaning on the overpowered cookies we would have died there. But we will take it. All in the name of entertainment, people. So yes, I don't think we're too far away from level three are we and that's where the the good stuff's going to start we're going to be putting everything all the points into uh here i think i don't rate these uh level two they're just damage over time this reverberate although it's been buffed i still have never been able to get it to do anything that meaningful nyax i don't know about is it any good Maybe we should try, but I historically I've I've not uh, done well with those damage over times and and kind of ignored them, at least the the ones in this tree. So it's going to be that one we're going to be going for, putting the uh, maximize and empower on it, and hopefully watching things fry. So that's our uh, immediate future. Hope that was okay for you. Thanks very much as always for looking and I will speak to you in the next one. Take care.